What's going on YouTubers? Good dang 775 back with another video. Today I'll be doing my review of the awesome ANC8 wireless over the ear headphones and these are sporting some pretty decent active noise cancellation. Now I did a first impressions video. Um, now I'm going to talk about my review on this headset. I'm also going to compare it. This is going to be like a review and versus video at the same time. Compare it with something similar in price okay this thing uh, this headset is maybe five ten dollars more expensive than these um, they're both the same price when they go on sale and that is the Bluteo F2's okay this is also sporting noise cancellation as well active noise cancellation now this they both have actually buttons to enable noise cancellation so let's go ahead and talk about the ANC 8 first before I get even start talking about the Bluteo F2's. Now the Bluteo F2's um, they range between 50 and 60 dollars and they are totally worth that price. I, If you folks watch my video, my unboxing and first impressions, that video may have gave you the impression that um, it was lackluster okay um, compared to other headphones that in this price range. But after breaking it in, listening to it for over a week, I can tell you for a fact this headset is totally worth that $50, $60 price tag. Okay, the sound is more of a flat profile, and you got the mids and highs. They're perfectly balanced. The bass, it's a clean bass, not a really deep and harm like deep thumping bass, but the bass is there. And for the most part, the sound is balanced, and you can turn it up to full volume without any distortion. I haven't ran into distortion, and it's got a range of 30 feet, standard 30 feet, where I leave my um, my cell phone out here in the living room, and I walk down my hallway. So you folks been joining my channel just now, I taped off my hallway um, up to 20 feet, 25 feet, 30 feet, and 35 feet. Now, at the 30 feet, it's rock solid. I mean... Now that's line of sight where I leave my, my cell phone right there, um, right by my uh, entranceway in the door, go down the hallway, um, there's no walls in between it. Now I go into my daughter's room, I cut into my daughter's room at 25 feet, there's hardly any stutters. Now if I, I noticed I moved around a lot, then I, I went into my daughter's closet, it stuttered just a bit. But this is at 25 feet and this is with walls in the way. So it's actually not, not bad, it's pretty solid connection for the most part. And I think this is sporting Bluetooth 4.0. Okay, um, would have been nice if it was a 4.1 or 4.2, but hey, in Bluetooth, anything 4.0 and up is that's decent. That's that's okay, I guess, in my opinion. Now I'm gonna let you folks listen to a sample of this song uh, of music. That way, you folks can kind of get an idea. I should have had this ready to go before I started. Uh, okay, so you got your volume buttons and your power button on one ear, uh, one one side, and that is what cup is this? The right ear cup. Okay, you got the power button right there. It tells you it's on, and you got your your volume your volume buttons right here, up and down, and you hold it, long press it forward to go back um, forward and long press it the volume button to go down to go backwards so um, to skip ahead and go go back now the ANC button is here on the left cup so I'm gonna play the song real quick it's great though by the way I like it I like it 60 bucks is pretty good deal see it's pretty loud already um, I didn't think it was that loud at first, but after listening to it for a little while, it got louder. There you go. It's pretty good, right? Now, the sound is really good, but there is slightly better in this price range. I'm going to get more into that later. But for what you pay for, $50 to $60 is totally worth it. The build quality is nice. It's fairly, um, fairly what do you call that, L limber. Okay, 
Now, I, if you twist it, this will break. And the build quality, it's plastic for the most part, but some parts are uh, like aluminum, aluminum, <laughs> aluminum. But this part is aluminum at least, but the back part is plastic. So, I mean, for the most part, and they do swivel 90 degrees. So, like, when I go out and like say I, I like to wear my headset when I go out shopping like I'm at HEB or at Walmart because I hate people bothering me while I shop so this way at least I can have an excuse when I was like oh I didn't hear you which is for real like I didn't hear you especially with, with full volume and active noise cancellation and when I'm at the cashier I go ahead and just flip them down and I just stick them around my neck just like this and I love headphones that do this I love them okay so that is the awesome ANC 8 oh it, it, it started up by itself because I hit the button there let's turn on the active noise cancellation let me talk about that let's go ahead and put it back on it changes the sound up a little bit testing 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 I'm just testing my voice to see if I can hear it I can barely hear my voice I mean very very barely so if you got people sitting maybe like two feet here two feet there and they're having a conversation and you got this thing up full volume you're not gonna be hearing them you're not okay if I can't even hear my voice right here barely I mean barely I maybe hear five ten percent of my voice right now so if people are there people are there active noise cancellation it's a pretty good for what it is okay sixty dollars now let's go ahead and let you folks listen to it. It's pretty good, right? So the awesome ANC8 active noise cancellation headphones, are they worth $50 to $60? You, I guarantee it. <laughs> guarantee it. It is pretty good for what it is. But now, are there other headphones that are better in this price range when it comes to sound? Yes, there is. And that is the Bluteo F2s. I kind of spoiled it right there. The Bluteo F2s, okay? These go are on sale for $68. Um, that's the normal price. But on uh, when it goes on sale, when, there's, when discount is on, like Amazon and whatnot, it drops under $50. It's like $48.99 when there's a lightning deal. And that's when you pick these things up. That's a steal at that price. This headphone is totally worth it at its $68.99 price range. It's basically $70. This is the closest thing I could find that's come to this. Except, you know, I have other headphones that are in this range. But they're like older headphones like my Zombie Cats and my Zealots. Um, so this is the closest one that I could find um, that could compare with this. Both have active noise cancellation. I could not really compare the Treb Labs because the Treb Labs are way out of its price range. So, um, so this is $68. Um, but keep in mind, again, you can get it on sale. Just wait till Black Friday or just check back every now and then. Just follow Bluteo on Amazon and you see the sales. Um, you see the prices go down. I mean, and uh, Alibaba and whatnot. They got these things go for sale, go on sale all the time. Okay. But first off, let's go ahead and disconnect the Odson ANC8 from my phone and let's get it paired with the Bluetooth F2s. Now, I did mess up with the Bluetooth F2s. I accidentally changed the language on my Bluetooth F2s and I, like me, I toss my instructions like a dummy, like you're not supposed to. But I toss my instructions, I have no, no idea how to put it back to, <laughs> to English, okay? But since I got this thing, had this thing for a while, I got all the actions memorized. I know what, I know how to use them. So, okay, it's already connected. See, it, it just like that. Now, build quality, okay? Now, when it comes to style, I like the Blue Deals. They look really good, okay? Um... Uh, and the Blue Deal also takes it when it comes to I say build quality. This feels more, more premium. The the feel of it and everything is aluminum for the most part. What I do worry about is these hinges right here. But they do swivel a hundred and hundred eighty degrees. Holy smokes! No wait, just ninety degrees. I don't know. I don't know geometry. I suck at geometry. No, but seriously, they do swivel. 
okay like I like how I like to go out um, when I again like I said pay the cashier I just flip them down they actually flip all the way like that so it's actually pretty cool I like that but yeah build quality I would give it to the blue deals again this is a higher price ten dollars more than these okay and when it comes to comfort it's a tie in my opinion the comfort on both of these headphones they both feature these egg shaped ear cups okay whenever there's egg shaped like this ear cups those are my favorite because they go around your ear like they're supposed to um, sure some of the ear ear pad is going to be touching and pressing on your ear and that's where pressure points will build up and they'll start to feel uncomfortable after a little while after like two three hours you start to feel them gonna adjust them more more and more and for you, you wear these for extended periods of time, any type of over-the-ear headphones, they're going to get sore. It's going to be like a swimming pool in your air of sweat. <laughs> okay, swimming pool of sweat, especially here in this hot Texas weather. But let's go ahead and play a song. That way you folks can hear it. Then I can explain the songs. We're right in there. There we go. Ooh, let's get the volume up. And the volume buttons are I can tell you for a fact, okay? These headphones are louder than the Ultima NC8. These have more volume. Oh man, do they sound good, okay? When it comes to sound quality, the bass, the mids, the highs, they're all balanced, okay? The bass is clean, um, just got a more sharper profile sound, okay? To the Blue Duo F2s, it does not distort at full volume for the most part, okay? I haven't run into too much distortion on these things at full volume. Um, some bass heavy songs of course any type of bass heavy songs you're gonna run into distortion at high volume no, doesn't matter what headset you have but let me go play another one real quick um, let's see there's the other one on oh, my pop dance there we go and I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward this time I'm gonna activate noise cancellation see noise cancellation activation is on the side right here and the one complaint is it could be a little stiff, so you have to like, uh, you have to kind of force it there. So, okay, I got active noise cancellation on. You're gonna hear me talking, and when noise cancellation on is on, you're gonna see. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little green light right there. I'm trying to focus. Focus. Ah, screw it. I'm gonna go ahead. Testing. Testing. Testing, testing. Okay, I don't, I can't hear what I'm talking, uh, saying right now. But I can tell you for a fact that with the active noise cancellation on, and if as long as the seal is perfect, I can't. Active noise cancellation rivals, maybe slightly surpasses the awesome ANC8. These Bluetooth F2s, okay? These sport really good active noise cancellation. But the thing is. Sound quality takes a little hit. I mean, very, 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 very tiny hit when you activate noise cancellation on the Blue Duo F2s. Okay? Um, it sounds good for the most part. I, can, I can't even hear my voice right now because I got this thing at full blast. And imagine if you got people here, 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 or you're out in traffic or whatnot, you're not going to hear a thing when you get these things on. And if you got music playing. So... There you go. Woo. Both great headsets. Both are, I think, in my opinion, great purchases. You folks won't be disappointed in unless you've had um, better headphones in your in, in your life that like listen to better things. Um, but you gotta keep in mind the price range. Anything under like. $75 is like budget, I, in my opinion. Well, $50 or close to $50 is budget, in my opinion, when it comes to headphones. Anything $100, that's mid-tier already. That's mid-tier. That's like the booty you'll use. And anything over 100 like my Ghost Tech Raptures, 
those are starting to, you know, that's like closer to the top end, but still not as expensive as like Bose QC35s and whatnot. And I can tell you what, when it compared to like $300 headphones, these come close, okay? I mean, if you want a awesome active noise cancelling type of headphones that put out great sound, good sound quality, my preference would be the Blue U F2s over the um, Awesome ANC8s. Now that's just my preference, okay? These have a slightly better sound quality than the ANC8. Is it $10 worth? $10 more? Um, is it worth $10 more than the ANC8? I think it is. Okay. Uh, keep in mind, these are at $68.99. These are right around $60. Okay. $50 to $60. And on sale, both of these can be under $50, which are steals. Okay. You see them on sale? You want to get them? Go ahead and get it. Don't even think about it. Just get it. That's if you want to try things out, okay? Like, my opinion is it's good to have a backup pair of headphones. Now, I have many backups, but for most people out there, if they get a set of headphones, it's good would, would be good to have a backup pair because headphones do break now and then. I've broken one recently. My Archmage wireless over-the-ear headphones, I accidentally broke those. I dropped it and it snapped. And for some reason, even though the wires are intact, it does not work as as it should. So I was like, oh. Yeah, so folks, please be careful with your headphones. And as for the ANC-8, awesome ANC-8, fantastic pair of headphones. Now, if you want something that's um, $50 or under, okay, wait for these to go on sale, okay? But pretty much, I mean, they're both really good headphones, and you folks won't be disappointed which one you get. Okay, but like I said, my preference goes to the F2s. What's your preference down below? What headphones do you folks have that are in this price range that you folks like? Let me know in the comments down below. Skadang775, just the Maui boy in Texas. Hope you folks like this video. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos every few days. If you didn't like this video, hit that dislike button and let me know in the comments down below. I do appreciate the criticism. Skadang775. Just a Mauer boy in Texas. Peace out.